Right, I'd like to try something a wee bit different um, tomorrow. I like diving and I like camping, but the problem with that is that the gear for the camping requires a pack and the gear for the diving requires a pack. So I'm trying to work out some way that I can minimise um, the camping gear and the diving gear so they can all go together. So here's um, the bare bones diving gear that I will be taking. So I've got my um, bottom and top um, wetsuit, got my spear gun, which I'll definitely be taking. Um, I've decided to take my old scuba weight belt and the reason for that is that it has pockets in it so the weights aren't on it already so the, what, what that means is I can um, fill them with stones rather than lead. It's not ideal but it's far better than carrying 12 odd k's of um, lead with you. I've got my gloves which I have to have, um, a normal mask and snorkel, um, my boots which I will use um, as camping boots as well. Um, a knife, typical knife, a small waist catch bag. I'm not going out far, so I'm not going to need, I'm just going to be basically in the rock pools there. And I'm also taking a small spinning rod and um, some hooks and sinkers and things like that. I'm also taking my free diving fins as well. These are ones that, um, while they're sort of semi free diving, um, scuba booties will actually slip in. If you knew where you were going, um, you could probably and you could you could probably get away with um, perhaps shorter fins and lighter fins may be the sort that you might have for boogie boarding or um, just trainers, particularly if you were just planning on going in rock pools to get a few power and things like that.